congratulations, by the way, on your, your 500th game in, in mm. management. Can you sum up your, your career so far across those 500 games? Wow, brilliant. Absolutely superb in every aspect. The learning curve, not just the learning curve, and I think it was mentioned in the letter, you know, in, a, in an industry that is so cutthroat and so, I suppose, short-lived, you know, for it, well, I'm, I'm only 47 years of age, you know, so I've actually accumulated 500 games in management. Uh, I'm, I'm really proud of that, but not just that, like, the successes that I've had on the field as a manager, the processes that I've been through with uh, developing players, giving players opportunities, the amount of money that we've actually earned as a manager for football clubs. Um, and again, it's special when, when you can make a small impact on you know, the types of players that I've been able to work with. When I look at Craig Dawson, Scott Hogan, you know, John Stones, Danny Drinkwater, etc., etc., reviving players, careers like Ricardo Vazte, and, uh, you know, again, working with Aaron Morley's, working with Ian Henderson's, Peter Vincenzi, you know, it's superb. Michael Rose, you know, brought him into the football club, and even now working people like uh, Keith Keane, and uh, it's not just working with those players, it's working you know, in an environment that's very similar to uh, what, what you have at home, a family environment where, you know, every little person's input helps and they see it as a special sort of environment to work in as well. I've, I've really enjoyed the, uh, the, the experience as a manager, something that I never thought I'd get a chance of doing. You know, and I've got to thank Steve Parkin for first and foremost giving me the opportunity to get back into football because I don't think without Steve's help, I don't think I would have got the opportunity to get back in football to the point where I am now.